here's something I picked up at um, Nuremberg in 1995 made by Zibi, a Swiss company who makes some um, devices to help you with blowing up inflating helium balloons and things. This is actually a little um, gimmick they gave you, which they invited you to buy buy this and, and put your advertisement on it there, put your own ad advert on it, buy a few, few, few thousand and send them to the post, complete with balloon as well. It's a hover balloon, of course. At the back, you'll probably see a tiny, tiny little hole in there. It's so small, it's almost invisible. But the air comes through there very slowly, leaks through, when it's flat on the surface, it floats around beautifully. So I'll demonstrate that on, on a nice big table I've got. Just this thing here, it floats, really quite remarkable. To, 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 to blow it up, you take that off, I've put an elastic band around it to hold it nice and firmly on it, and then... Twist a few times. Mount this in here. Okay. And it's ready to go. And it won't float yet because it's still twisted. So to untwist it, I just let go. And wow, let's have a look at making it move around the table. Look at that. Very, very fluid movement. Absolutely superb. Almost frictionless. And look how how, how slow does the balloon is deflating because that small hole is um, so, so small at the bottom. So the air can only get out at a slow pace. And yet the balloon is... Um, giving all the power to it. It's, it's the actual um, pressure or air pressure inside that's giving all the energy to the thing. So a very nice gimmick from Zibi to hand around and it's better really than toys which are meant to be designed um, to sell like this but this is not intended for that. This is actually meant to be a little advertising gimmick like giving people a pen with your firm's name on it. You send this to the post with your advertisement on the piece and you, you buy them for the few thousand by them and then put the kit into a printer to put your advert on it and send it to the post along with a balloon of course so it can perform very well so while that's finishing all this thing i'll just show another gimmick which requires a board as well this one here is um one of those little automata which is a it, a pumpkin and there's a witch oh look 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 and it's a little push go well can you hear the noise that's the thing from Unmoney, so that can make it perform. It's going to run across the table, basically, if I put that like that and let go. It doesn't go very far because the actual motor of its craft is quite short. Yes, well, the witch can only do short, 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 short breaks, short spells, I think, isn't she? It's not bad, it could be worse, but um, it's a nice, I love the idea of something where you push the witch down and that makes a nice well-known spinning noise of a string that's unwinding fast and it and gives power to the wheels as well. So the last item is very bizarre. It's um, a Swedish product and it's meant to be something very helpful for taking on picnics. Here we are, made in summer. Let's see if we get to see it says made in Sweden, I think it is. <sighs> Look at it. Bizarre. Well, you probably guess what it is. It's one of those unfolding cups. This, I have to say, is one of the most difficult unfolding cup I've ever done. It's not as if it's a puzzle, you know what you do, but it's just tough rubber, perhaps it's got from the age of 15, 25 years ago. You've got to open up, the person standing there with a the coffee, ready to give you over the pot of coffee, trying to give you your coffee cup, I've got as far as halfway. The back bit is a difficult bit, it's so sticky that, or so difficult, not sticky, it's just difficult. Fingers underneath and push, wow, right, now I'm ready for my coffee. <laughs> and drink someone's health. <sighs> Life's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes.